Hey guys, this is Arvind and you are watching Learn with Arvind. In this video, we will be deriving complex form of Fourier series. Fourier series is given by f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity n cos n pi x by l plus b n sin n pi x by l. Let's mark this equation as 1. The complex form of Fourier series is obtained by expressing cos n pi x by l and sin n pi x by l in exponential form. That is, uh, before starting, note from Euler's formula e power i a x is equal to cos a x plus i sin a x. The same way e power i n pi x by l is equal to cos n pi x by l plus i sin n pi x by l. e power minus i n pi x by l is equal to cos n pi x by l minus i sin n pi x by l. Adding e power i n pi x by l plus e power minus i n pi x by l. plus i sin n pi x by l and minus i sin n pi x by l get cancelled and we are adding so we get e power i n pi x by l plus e power minus i n pi x by l gives 2 cos n pi x by l 2 goes to the denominator and it becomes e power i n pi x by l plus e power minus i n pi x by l the whole divided by 2 is equal to cos n pi x by l similarly e power i n pi x by l minus e power minus i n pi x by l divided by 2i gives sin n pi x by l. Now substituting this value in equation 1 we will be getting f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n uh, substitute this value e power i n pi x by l plus e power minus i n pi x by l the whole divided by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity b n of substitute the value of sin n pi x by l now multiply summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n and summation n is equal to 1 to infinity b n inside the bracket we will be getting summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n by 2 e power i n pi x by l plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n by 2 e power minus i n pi x by l. The same way we will be multiplying b n 2. We will be getting summation n is equal to 1 to infinity b n by 2 i e power i n pi x by l plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity minus b n by 2 i into e power minus i n pi x by l. Now write the a n terms. By taking complex conjugate, we can el eliminate the denominator uh, complex terms. So, by taking complex conjugate, now we are uh, summation n is equal to 1 to infinity bn by 2i into minus i by plus i. We are multiplying and dividing by the complex conjugate into e power uh, i n pi x by l plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity minus bn by 2i into minus i by minus i into e power minus i n pi x by l. Now we are writing the n terms and for b n uh, since we are multiplying by complex conjugate i into i is equal to i square which is nothing but minus 1. So denominator becomes 2 therefore plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity i b n by 2 e power i n pi x by l plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity minus minus get cancelled and i b n by 2 into e power minus i n pi x by l. Now we are grouping the terms. Summation n is equal to 1 to infinity. Now we are grouping e power i n pi x by l. e power i n pi x by l. And we are writing the terms. Remember Plus the same way we are going to group e power minus i n pi x by l. We will be taking e power minus i n pi x as common. Which gives us f of x is equal to 
C0 naught plus summation is equal to 1 to infinity Cn e power in pi x by L plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity c minus n e power minus i n pi x by l this can also be written as summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity c n e power i n pi x by l mark this as equation 3 this is what we mean by complex form of Fourier series where c naught is equal to a naught by 2 c n is equal to 1 by 2 into a n minus i b n and c minus n is equal to 1 by 2 a n plus i b n Mark this as equation 3 and uh, this as equation 2. Equation 3 is called complex form of Fourier series. Now we are going to derive the constant to find Cn. We are going to multiply by e power minus i m pi x by l on both sides of equation 3 and integrate it with respect to x we will be getting integrate minus l to plus l f of x e power mi minus i m pi x by l dx is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity cn integral minus l to plus l e power i pi x of n minus m divided by l into dx note that this has value only when n is equal, equal to m when n is not equal to m it doesn't have value when n is equal to m it becomes 0 therefore summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity cm integral minus l to plus l dx e power 0 dx we knew that e power 0 is equal to 1 substituting 1 we will be getting dx and integrating it we will be getting cm in while integrating dx we will be getting x while applying the limit and evaluating we will be getting cm is equal to 1 by 2l integral minus l to plus l f of x e power minus im pi x by l dx now change it in terms of cm which is equal to 1 by 2 L integral minus L to plus L f of x e power i n pi x by L dx. See you guys. See you in the next video.